I would like to schedule an appointment. Now let's find a time that works for you. How about Wednesday, July 30th at either 8 a.m., 11 a.m., or 2 p.m.? Yep, that was AI answering the phone. And by the end of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can build this out for yourself in high level. And the best part is, is you can start getting paid every single month to set these up for businesses. The reason why so many business owners are starting to adopt AI is because with all the missed calls that they get every single week, they're missing out on leads, they're losing revenue, and there's a lot of frustrated customers. But now, thanks to high level and the voice AI agents that you can build inside of it, you can give these business owners a solution that answers calls instantly, acts like a human, answers questions for people and even books appointments. So enough talk, let's actually jump into high level so you can see how you can build this out for yourself and start selling this to business owners. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the build out here. If this is your first time in high level, don't worry about this custom home screen here. You're not gonna see this. This is just a training center that I built out for my clients as they're getting onboarded uh, into my platform, which I white label as so simply. But when you come into here, you are going to click on AI agents on the left side of the screen. Now you are going to start one from screen scratch and you can either build conversational agents or voice AI agents. We're going to focus on the voice AI agent today and I'm going to show you exactly how you can build this out. So what you're going to do is you're going to select create your first voice AI agent and when you come into here you're either going to create a custom agent which I typically always do. Um, you can browse a marketplace of other templates uh, or agents that have been built out but for this example we're going to go ahead and just hit continue. And it's a pretty straightforward process. You're going to give it a name. You're going to name, give it the name of the business. So obviously you're going to give it the name of your client's business, or if you're building one out for yourself, right? You just give it your own business name. Then over here, you can select different voices. Um, so you'll see different recommended voices, but there's a plenty of voices that you can choose from right here. Select them. You can play them to see what they sound like. And then you can also uh, put your time zone right here. This will just make it so if you have any settings in regards to when the agent answers the phone, um, it's going to be according to its time zone set. Make sure that it's set for inbound calls. And then you're going to have the agent's initial message of, you know, how can I help you today? So after you do that, what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to hit next. And then you are going to start training it. So this is where you give it a knowledge base and you also say, hey, this is the information that I want you to collect before this person gets off the phone. So it's pretty simple how you do this. So in order to create a knowledge base, you'll see this button right here. It's just gonna say create new. You can see I have some preloaded templates in here already, but we're gonna speed through this. So there is, we'll just name this test, different types of knowledge bases that you can load in here. And what I mean by that is you'll see here, there's web crawler, FAQs, and tables. Tables are still in beta mode, but FAQs and web crawlers are active. So what are the difference between web crawlers and FAQs? A web crawler is you go get a website's domain and you load it in here, and it's able to pull the information from that page. I'll show you what I mean by this. So I'll just go ahead and go to my own website right here. And everything that's on this page, right? I have different things about what we offer, testimonials, pricing. If I take this and go ahead and hit add source right here in the top right and do web crawler, it's going to allow me to paste this domain here and extract the data. So it's gonna load this for just a few minutes here. Uh, it might take a minute or two. It's fetching the pages. And then after that, that will be loaded into my knowledge base. The other part of this that you can load in here is FAQs. And I like to do both of these because I feel like manual FAQs help the bot perform better in my personal experience. But same principle here, you'll go up here to the top right, you'll hit add source, you'll do FAQ, and then you can copy and paste questions and answers into this knowledge base. Now, what's really nice about these knowledge bases is once they're built out, they're they're there, right? So if you have a specific niche that maybe you are serving when it comes to the different AI services that you're building out here on high level, uh, you'll be able to have this available to you. Maybe there's you know frequently asked questions among all of the industry and you won't have to, to recreate the wheel every single time. But typically what I do for this is when I'm giving this service and building this service out for a client, what I have them do is either A, send me their FAQ page that's already on their website. A lot of business owners already have one and I'll just copy and paste it there. And then also load the web crawler, again, just as backup. And then two, um, if they don't have it on their, their website already, I'll just have them send me over a Google doc uh, with frequently asked questions and load it in there as well. So um, after that, you'll be able to save that and you'll have your knowledge base loaded in there as well. So let's go ahead and go back. All right, now we're gonna come back to the build out of the bot 
And once you have that knowledge base saved that I just showed you, you're going to go ahead and select this drop down right here and load yours in. So this is just uh, an example template that I'm going to use today for this demonstration. So this is for the niche of chiropractic. Um, so if you are serving chiropractors, uh, you can go ahead and use this. But what you're going to do is after you select that, you're going to tell the bot, hey, when should they use this knowledge base? And obviously, primarily, they're going to want to use it when they ask questions. The nice thing about high level is they are going to put a template in here for you um, to fill this out right here. So I typically don't change this part around. If you want to go for it, but I typically just leave it as is. And then down here, you can select what you want them to collect. So I'll just do name contacts issue again, just for this example, you can put whatever you want. And then down here, what do you want to have happen in regards to do you want to trigger a workflow after the bot has been completed do you want a notification to be sent to different users within the high level platform maybe they have different staff members that they want to receive notifications um, for the bot that's taking calls you can select those here and then you can also trigger a workflow if you don't know what a workflow is um, this is just an example this is not very relevant to this specific use case but it's a series of steps and automations that you can build out in high level on the back end so as an example, say that a appointment is booked through the AI bot. What you can go ahead and do is select a workflow here and you can, as an example, select this one. And let's just pretend this is an appointment confirmation one. And so what happens is, is after they book the appointment, what's going to happen is they're going to be put into this automated workflow. So leading up to their appointment, they're going to get reminder text, right? So you can connect those workflows to the bot as well. Okay. After that, we're going to actually switch here to advanced mode. And we're going to mess around with the prompt a little bit here. Again, you'll see here, there is a template that is inputted here, but I'm gonna go ahead and change this out uh, to make it a little bit more applicable to our, our example here for chiropractic work. And uh, I'll be back in just a second. So you don't have to watch me type all of this. All right, now that we're back here to the knowledge base again, um, I'm gonna walk you through the prompt so you can get a good understanding of what you wanna put in here. So high level gives you a template. So you'll see here, it says background info, instructions for handling the call, general rules for handling uh, callers, and then also script instructions. So a pro tip for you, typically what I do, because obviously the, the go high level um, uh, template that's already preloaded in there, it doesn't always fulfill my needs. So what I will do is I will typically take this and use AI to help me build my AI voice agent. So I'll put it in a tool like Gemini or chat GPT, whatever you might use. And I, I will say, Hey, I am building out an AI voice agent in high level. This is the template that they have for the prompt, but for the background info, I want to include this for instructions for handling, uh, callers. I want to include this for general rules for handling, um, uh, or inbound calls or instructions for inbound calls. Um, I want to add this, I think so on and so forth. So I think you get the point there. And then it will spit back some information to me in this format. I'll make a few extra tweaks and then again, test accordingly. So, um, if you want this exact template that I've used for this chiropractic example, I'll actually post it in my free community. So you have access to it there. Um, but let's go ahead and scroll down here and talk about setting up actions. So What's amazing about these voice AI bots is you are able to actually have them take action and book appointments or trigger other workflows along the way. So you'll see here for this one, I did book appointment um, or book. Yeah, book appointment. Um, but let me go ahead and delete this real quick just so you can see me set this up one more time. So I'm going to go ahead and this is what it's going to look like when you have no actions. So I'm going to do new action. And I'm going to do the book appointment action one more time. And you'll see here, it's going to have me select from a calendar. Now, real quick, if you've never uh, built a calendar in high level, I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, real quick, if you don't know how to set up a calendar, when you come back to the homepage on high level and go to the left side, you're going to see this tab for calendars. Now I have a video that goes way more in depth into this, but up here in the top, you'll see calendar settings. So if you have no calendar set up, you'll be able to go to calendar settings and then over here, on the right side, you'll see new calendar. You'll be able to come in here and set up the type of calendar that you want. Again, I'm not going to go super in depth in this on, on this video, but we'll just go ahead and do a personal booking. You'll give it a name. Um, you'll select team members that you want to be assigned to it. You can create a link. You can do availability, which is super awesome because then when you tie this back to the bot, it's not going to schedule appointments outside of the business hours, right? So do the calendar availability 
and you can confirm and have that there. So once that's all set up, when you come back to the AI chatbot, you will see this calendar that you've built out and those calendars can be more advanced. Um, again, this is just a high level overview, but you can select the calendar here and then you're good to go. And then down here, you'll see Hey, how many days out do we want to book this appointment? How many hours in between do we want to keep these appointments? And what's so amazing about this is you can customize this really in depth for the business owner. So like one example is maybe you are doing this for a window cleaning business and it, they know that they need to have about 30 minutes to travel in between appointments, right? So let's not book appointments back to back and make sure that we give them that leeway to uh, take account for the travel time that they might have. So you can customize that as needed. Go ahead and hit save. And now the action is there. So after that is done and completed, what you're going to go ahead and do is you are going to actually test your AI chatbot and test it over and over again, ask it questions, make sure that you try to break it because you want to see the different uh, areas where it might mess up before you actually deliver it to the business owner, obviously. And it's never going to be perfect, right? You're, you're going to have some, um, you know, mishaps here or there, but if you build it out, pretty in detail as I'm showing you here, it's going to work um, fairly well. And, and, and uh, you can also always transfer the calls to the business owner if they're not able to answer a question. And yeah, before I test this, just another quick pro tip. Um, that's another thing you can put in here for instructions is basically saying, if you can't handle a question, just let them know that we will get them transferred over uh, to someone right away. All right, so let's go ahead and test the AI agent so you can see how this looks. All right, so let's go ahead and test this agent out. Um, if you saw when I was recording my screen on the right side, there is a icon there that says test your agent. And once you have a phone number set up, you'll be able to test it right away. If you need help setting up a phone number, I have a whole video that you can search on my channel to set up a phone number and become A2P verified. But again, we're not gonna go in depth in this video for that. We're gonna focus on the AI agents. So let me go ahead and hit call me and I'll show you what happens here. All right, so you'll see here, I am getting a call. And when you're testing this, you're gonna hear it ring because it's gonna act as if I'm calling the AI agent. Hey, you have reached ClearPath Chiropractic. How can I help you today? Yes, I would like to schedule an appointment. Great, let's get that appointment booked for you. I see we have your email as Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Awesome, now let's find a time that works for you. How about Wednesday, July 30th at either 8 a.m., 11 a.m. or 2 p.m.? Do any of these times suit you? Uh, do you actually have a time on Thursday? Sure thing. On Thursday, July 31st, we have slots available at 8 a.m., 11 a.m., and 2 p.m. Which one would you prefer? Um, well, actually, quick question. Is chiropractic care safe? Yes. Chiropractic care is generally very safe when performed by a licensed professional. Our team is fully certified and experienced to ensure your safety and well-being. Now... Would you like to go ahead with booking an appointment for Thursday? Uh, yeah, let's do that 11 a.m. slot. I've booked your appointment for Thursday, July 31st at 11 a.m. You'll receive a confirmation email shortly. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, nope, that's it. Thanks. Thank you for reaching out to ClearPath Chiropractic. If you have any more questions or need assistance in the future, feel free to contact us. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Thanks, you too. And there you have it. We just booked a whole appointment using AI. So hopefully this shows you the power of this service that you can give to business owners. Um, and this wave of AI that's happening right now, if you are looking to start an online business, I would say this is the number one area that I would focus on. So hopefully you found this helpful. All right, as always, I hope you found that video helpful and you're ready to go build these out for yourself to start selling to business owners. If you want the template that I built out today, you can actually click the link in the description to sign up for high level. Anyone who signs up using that link and becomes an affiliate, I try to help them out as much as possible because I get my cut and I want you to get your cut in value in order to help you build your business. There's also a free community that will be linked in the description as well. It's called the Freedom Formula and it's a great place where I post additional things like my calling scripts, my email scripts, my closing pitch deck and many other things in order to again help you get a head start when it comes to starting your own business. Please like this video, leave a comment if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe to the channel to get content like this every single week. And with that, we'll see you in the next video.